We're just at about 7.46 a.m. And heading on into this segment, we have on with us Billy Sterling Lewis, Director of Impact Change Concepts. And this morning we're speaking about the Impact Behavioral Health Camp Inspire. Good morning. Good morning, Julian. Good morning, Trinidad and Tobago and the wider world. Hope you're doing well. Yes, and I hope you're doing well also as we get the conversation started this morning. I want you to start by telling us a little bit about the impact change concepts. Tell us about the, uh, the, the institution. Sure. Um, impact change concepts, or it's actually impact behavioral health now recently had to revise the name to really capture all that we do now, is a mental health organization that deals with behavior change. So we focus on helping persons address issues of trauma and loss. We help pers persons focus on issues of um, overcoming mood disorders and other mental health challenges, um, including substance misuse and um, some non-psychotic mental disorders and we focus on persons who are adolescents up to the older age so we are for mental health organization but we do it from a holistic place which is why the name had to change so we don't just do psychotherapy now which is what we started out with psychotherapy and education and training which is also something we do but we do it from the holistic place so we do mood and food and the brain gut connection um, mind body and spirit connection all right, are we jumping right on in? Camp Inspire. Give us some information yes. on this initiative. Sure. Um, Camp Inspire, this is no in, it's not inspire. We're, we're inspiring them. So it is nurturing. So Inspire is an acronym that stands for nurturing the spiritual, psychological, intellectual, relational, emotional aspects of our youth. When I said it the first time, my son was like, that is so long. <laughs> it is long. <laughs> But what we want to do is to nurture the holistic is a lot of our young people are dealing with challenges that are manifesting in homes, in schools. We're getting ready to go back to school. One of the reasons we put it so late after all the fun camps are over, we wanted to have our young people's minds a little bit more stable and ready to go back to school. Um, what we find a lot of our young people are facing anxiety, um, depression, anger issues. A lot of them are dealing with ADHD. And many of our systems are not equipped in the everyday school system to tackle these issues and teach them effectively. Actively. And so what we want to do is to increase the child's um, emo, uh, mental health IQ and their parents also as best as we can. We want to do as much with the parents this time face to face but virtually um, so that they can understand that they have tools that they can use and learn, learn and use to manage any flare ups that they may have, whether it's anger, feeling depressed if they get bullied, um, making them competent young people to manage their mental health challenges. That's the general aim of the camp. Uh, would you say that uh, the hope is ultimately when we target uh, the children, uh, trying mm -hmm. to make that eventual change and that greater level of consciousness in our society? Because I feel like mental health is something we have uh, only in more recent times begun to pay closer attention to in recognizing, oh my God, uh, this can actually impact my day-to-day -day life. Uh, is that now mm -hmm. critical from the earliest possible stage? And what would you say is a, an ideal uh, starting point to begin to discuss things like even mental health issues affecting our children? Yeah, it is necessary um, for us to progress well. And the earlier you start, the better. One of the things I will say is that we have to professionally use these terms like mental health, mental um, illnesses. But the truth is we start early when we nurture and we raise well-adjusted children. So the way our parents raised us as people who were able to understand, recognize, communicate, interact, um, be forgiving, that was mental health and wellness. It is just that it's not so popular now because life has changed. And because of the external pressures, um, it is becoming a little bit more difficult for people to cope. So the earliest we can get a child to understand that when you feel angry, it's not bad, but we can learn how to express that anger. That is mental health right there. And that can happen as early as two. So when we talk about the terrible twos, even changing our own language and how we interact with them, it becomes necessary. Now, if they didn't get that early and they come into, you know, early years of seven, eight, nine, ten, even to the adolescent years and even adults, because what we also see that a lot of our mental health 
health issues that are diagnosed begin in adolescence. So if we can get them in these early years to begin to understand those key things and also to have the skills, the skills and the support, knowing that they're not alone, it will make a big difference when they get into adulthood. Because you know what? Life happens and life is not going to stop happening until life is no longer happening right so if we teach them now we give them a better chance for survival and the earlier we start the better the outcome will be all right so we know the target is uh, our student 12 to 17 years uh, remind us of the dates where will this be taking place and the registration process Sure. So the camp will take place at Lambo Community Center, so up in Lambo, very specific for that purpose because we have a lot of psychotherapy techniques that we have to teach the young people. And it will happen on the 21st of August to the 25th. So it is your last lap, young people and parents. It is your last lap for um, before you get back into school. Um, sessions will start at 9 a.m. And it's not just going to be a sit down and talk talk. It will be very much an experiential camp to teach the children the tools, um, a meal will be provided there. We'll be also teaching them how to focus on feeding the brain to support their mental health. So it'll be an all around camp. Persons who want to register, you can go on the Facebook or send me a WhatsApp message, um, 2943444. The link is on what on email or uh, sorry, on, on Facebook, on the social media handles, Instagram and Facebook. Also, like I said, you can WhatsApp me for the link. You can register and make the payments as is convenient for you. And we will will be able to work with a young person. We also have the possibility for sponsoring a few persons because we do have some sponsor opportunities for those who really cannot afford to pay. And we know most of our people who struggle with young with mental health challenges and so psycho-emotional issues are persons who are struggling socioeconomically too. So if you're a person with a child like that um, and your economic situations are not expanding past the school books and the uniforms and you want to get your child in, just reach out. We will, come, we will get in contact. We will respond to you and see how we can sponsor that child. So we know the broad age group is 12 to 17. Any other components for persons that you're targeting for this program or once you're 12 to 17, uh, you qualify to participate? So once the, the child does not have any unmanaged mental health conditions, I, I just want to make sure that's you're asking, so they cannot be a child who is on medication and non-compliant so that they're having episodes, right? So we want to have the child who is able to focus in, to learn, and to interact. We may be able to, based on the, the issues, we will be able to deal with some of the explosions that we expect to happen at camps, but not someone who is um, severely mentally um, challenged at the moment and not under proper medical care because we're not we don't have the time in five days to do that it was a longer situation yes um so once the child is able to move around now lambo does have amenities for i'm just thinking for persons in wheelchairs if the person has any special needs they'll have to inform us of that in terms of mobility then we'll be able to adjust the techniques that we use to accommodate that particular child other than that once the child is cognitively capable even if they can't read very well we can work with them um, because we want them to be able to get the skills to communicate with themselves and others in a mentally um, balanced way. So I know that the focus this time around is on the students, but can we look at also the importance of that continued support from the standpoint of parents and family uh, where these children have to uh, coexist? Sure. So what we intend to do is the children who are part of the camp, we will reach out to the parents and work with them post the camp through one of the other programs that MPAC is a part of, the other, uh, one of the other initiatives. And that is important because we in MPAC believe that we cannot impact our children's lives properly unless we are impacting the environment as well. So the, the program will continue. Actually, if children in the camp need continual care in terms of psychotherapy after, we will also be able to work with them um, for a period of time. We would actually like, give about two months to three months the most based on the program allotment. So our children will get continual care after once that is found to be needed. And the parents also will be able to interact with us even with one-on-one -on -one, and we do have um, planned some groups as well, but it will be more virtual after the camp. The other idea is to continue the camp every, um, at least twice a year, so in those holiday breaks, as we, the children come out of school and have to go back into school, just get them resettled again mentally, emotionally to cope. All right. Uh, your closing comments, uh, feel free to remind us about our contact information 
what's going to be mm -hmm. happening, where it's going to be happening, and the dates to remind our, our viewing audience in terms of getting involved and getting their children uh, involved. Yes, yeah, so parents, grandparents, uncles, aunties, Camp Inspire is happening, and that is for our young people, 12 to 17 years old. And the camp will be held at the Lambo Multipurpose Center, 21st of August to the 25th, just five days. But we'll be able to capture a lot in those five days. We start at 9 a.m., 9 to 2. The children will be able to have psychoeducation and experiential therapy happening, including group therapy, and we'll be able to continue to work with them. You want to get in contact with us you want to register go on facebook go on instagram look for impact change concepts that's our handle on, on on the social media or you can reach out to me by whatsapp at 294-3444 that's 294-3444 i will respond i will send you the link and you can register your child all right and uh, you know i must say uh, in, in closing the interview do send our greetings uh, Ria and the entire team uh, Pastor yeah. Nevin Lewis and the entire family. And we look forward uh, to having you here on the island, continuing to make that significant uh, contribution in your field uh, as you continue to do the good work. So thank you so much again uh, for joining us here on set this morning. Uh, Billy Staling so Lewis, the Director of Impact Change Concepts. And there's that opportunity for Camp Inspire uh, that will be taking place here in this latter part of August, from August the 23rd, you have the opportunity to connect and to register. This is your, your opportunity out there, students 12 to 17. Feel free to check out the social media or the telephone contact uh, that would have been given out. Viewers, we want to thank you so much for continuing to choose the Tobago Updates Morning Show. Uh, we're just about uh, at the end of this morning show, uh, the Tobago Updates Morning Show, but stay tuned and stay connected because we are heading straight on into Tobago Notes and that will be followed by by GMT. So bye-bye for now. Stay connected.